Euler angles break down a complex rotation into three simple chain rotations about the axis of the cube to represent any 3D orientation. Let's look at this cube. This cube has three axes, the X, Y, and Z axis. This cube starts out oriented with the world reference frame, X, Y, and Z. To model this rotation, we will follow a Z, Y, X rotation sequence. First, we rotate the cube about the Z axis by some angle psi. When we do this, notice that the X and Y axes of the cube have been rotated by psi, creating a new local axis, X prime and Y prime. We then move on to our second rotation. This time, we rotate the cube about this new Y prime axis by an angle theta. This rotation rotates our Z and X prime axes, creating a new Z prime and X double prime axis. Finally, we rotate the cube about the new X double prime axis by an angle phi. This rotation rotates the Z prime and Y prime axes to become our new final X double prime, Y double prime, and Z double prime axes. We now have represented our final orientation by breaking one complex rotation into three simple rotations with three angles.